yo what's good with you on today's video i'm about to show you guys how to make uh like a the animation menu from bookhaven um i'm trying to remember uh i think it's just it's like yeah i know it's like it's like kind of like you click a button you click a button it's like animations obviously then it opens up like a list of animations you scroll through find whatever animation you want and then uh you just uh, click it and then animation plays. Um, that simple. Yeah, not gonna lie, I did not make this before the video. Um, so I'm just gonna be, I'm literally making this off the top of my head. So, yeah, try to be patient <laughs> in case, I, in case what's it called? I get a little stuck. Anyway, let's get straight into it. All right, so first things first, we're gonna, of course, need to make a GUI, make it a screen GUI, um, and name it, um, Anim I guess animation menu, that makes sense. Animation menu, GUI. Then insert a scrolling frame. Mm, or actually, yeah, yeah. Mm. Damn, I'm gonna switch, I think. Okay, yeah, yeah. Do, yeah, do a scrolling frame, uh, size 200, 200. Size 200, 200. All right. And then you can name this animation menu frame right and by default I don't want it to be visible but of course I'm gonna change that later though just for right now I'm gonna have a text button that pretty much opens up that it pretty much opens up uh, what's it called it pretty much opens up the menu so I'm gonna just use one button to open and close it so uh, animation menu opener opener button which I can call it, or just call it anime. I don't know. This is really up to y'all. I don't really care. Um, open, then just have it open, close, animation, menu. That's what I have the text say, rich, bold text. Uh, give it like a nice little gray color, and then I'll change the text color to be kind of, I guess, kind of bright. So like a, like a red, or yeah like, like a red red and gray type of thing but anyway so yeah i guess i'll have like the script i'll just have the script in the gui right so it, like if y'all want the animations to only play where like only the player themselves can see it then you can use a local script if you want the whole server to see the animations then use a server script or use a local and server script like you, you would just have a server script that plays the animations while the local script handles like kind of like managing the request if that makes sense or forwarding them, I guess is a better word to use. Anyway, animation menu script, right? Delete print hello world. All right, I'm gonna put a UI grid in the menu frame so everything is automatically already organized so I don't even have to worry about positioning. I'm gonna set it back visible just to get the, the buttons placed. Uh, actually, wait, if I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, need, I don't even want the background visible. I just want the buttons. And then I'm gonna change the UI grid layout. And then I'm gonna change the UI grid layout to uh, I think 150 is good. Yeah, like 150 is good. And then um, I have this uh, animation, call it animation button, I guess. Yeah, animation button. And then of course I'm gonna say uh, name the animation uh, animation one I guess I, yeah I have my own animation but honestly I don't even know what this be real y'all then they like red they're like red and black I guess and then I'm gonna have a number value pretty much this will be your animation ID here's where you put the animation ID for each one animation ID I have my animation ID right here. So I'll then put my animation ID right there. Then go to the script and simply uh I think how I want to do this. Okay. So first thing first, let me make it so so open in the first place. So script dot parent dot animation menu opener button that mouse button one click colon connect function then parentheses I mean close parentheses enter then I'll say uh, script uh, parent dot menu frame dot visible 
is equal to not script dot parent animation many frame dot visible. Pretty much, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, I'm pretty sure I do remember. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was before. Honestly, I seen this once before, and I was like, damn, that's actually hell useful. But anyway, so pretty much this will do, it'll literally do the opposite of what like this that like what the visibility status currently is. If it's visible, it will become not visible, and vice versa. But anyway, so after that, then want it to be kind of like an automatic process where like you can add as many buttons with animations as you want and stuff. So I guess like the way to do it would be like script parent animation menu frame colon get children. Wait. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. For IV impairs. I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm a little tired, y'all. But anyway, for I comma v impairs. Um, script dot parents the animation mini frame get children do then do if v is because there is a grid layout so do if v is a text button then v dot mouse button one click connect function close parentheses then um I need to get the character okay then local character is equal to well damn maybe we should get the player first i mean i could get the character I just uh now i'm, I'm separated it's, it's better to just separate it okay so i'm gonna get the player first local player is script dot parent dot parent dot uh, parent yeah wait one two yeah okay and then character is simply just game the workspace five first child player dot name and then simply uh I can do the uh what's it called I'm trying to think I can do the uh the um I can do the animation thing I'm trying to think. Mm, what is the animation thing? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually trying to, I'm actually looking trying to remember and I think about it. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 I remember. Sorry, guys, sorry, guys. I ain't gonna laugh. My brain literally just stopped working. All right, so then we're gonna create the animation. So local animation is equal to instance dot new animation. And then we're going to, of course, need an animation track. After we set up the animation ID, so animation the animation ID. Yeah, it makes sense to have this inside the inside of the function because it changes each time. So the way you would pretty much set the animation ID, you would do v dot. Uh, wait, I'm confused. V dot. What did I name it? Oh. And v dot animation. I don't know why. What? Wait, the v is a text button. I don't know why it's not giving me the option to select the animation I just to select the variable inside it's weird wait script the panda animation menu frame hmm yeah that's weird anyway I guess it won't want to fill but anyway animation ID dot value right then simply you want to of course make a tr the animation track you're gonna need the humanoid first, so local humanoid is simply character dot humanoid. This one auto fill by the way. Then local animation track. Uh, I believe it is humanoid load animation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then the animation itself. Then animation track play. A lot of this. The last part I just said will not auto fill. And yeah, it should be. Yeah, I believe that should be right. No, I'm not gonna lie with y'all. There's about this. There's about there's a chance that maybe like two things will not work. But but uh, sorry, I'll fix this maybe. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it does work. Okay, so it opens and closes correctly. All right. Invalid animation ID. I don't ask that ID protocol. Invalid animation ID. That's weird. Invalid animation ID V dot animation ID dot value. I'm confused. Did I put in the wrong ID? One, so four, two, eight, one. 
No, that's the right idea. Let me see something. Print, uh, not print animation. Print v dot animation id dot value. I'm trying to honestly see if it even is, because I, I really don't know why it's not, why it's not doing that. Like why it's, why it's printing the id invalid animation id. I know that's the id protocol. That is so weird. Instance new animation, animation that animation. Right. Yeah. V dot animation id dot value. Mm, like a humanoid is character dot humanoid. And then animation track is humanoid load animation. Animation. Hmm. Yeah, honestly, I'm not sure. I don't know why it's not. Keep saying invalid animation ID, error unknown asset ID protocol. Yeah, I don't get. Let me see something real quick. If I go to the toolbox, um, my animation. Where's the thing? The thing, the thing, the thing. Uh, I'm looking for it. Um, oh, the, I think it's. No, no, it's this. Because I know this works. I know this works. I don't know. If, okay, yeah, there you go. Let me see. Let me see. Wait, where did I go? Oh, right there. Copy the asset ID. If the asset ID is, if the asset ID is the same thing, then I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it's not working. That's the case. Animation. Okay, animation equals instance dot new animation. Percent equals a p print invalid animation ID. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot. Never mind. I, never mind. Never mind. I forgot. I just realized. Okay. Okay. See. So, okay. So you need to do this. I forgot the whole um, the whole RBX asset ID thing. So RBX asset ID colon uh the, um what, what is it backslashes or forwards? No, that's forward slashes. Yeah, forward slashes. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, guys. And then dot dot. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I completely forgot about that. I kept wondering why keep telling me like that, like it's, the ID is wrong, but like, but it's like I forgot you have to have that part. You can't just have like just numbers. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now the animation playing. All right. Now the animation being buggy and stuff. That's just because that's just the animation I made. So that, that's why it looks like that. Like my camera's not following it. But anyway, it doesn't matter. That's how you make an animation menu. Very simple. Very honestly, yeah. It really was honestly very simple. Literally just two functions. Very simple. And the best part is, y'all can add as many animations as I want, and um, you wouldn't even have to change the script. You just add in another button, change the ID, that's it. I yeah, hope this video was helpful. If it was, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Links to join my Roblox group and Discord you can find in the description. Yeah, I'll see you guys. Thank you all for watching.